Hey guys, in the last few lectures, we've installed our Elasticsearch cluster. So now it's time to get some data into our cluster. First, we will upload non time series data and then we will upload time series data and then I will show you the difference between both. So let's get our hands dirty. Here on my screen, I've got my Elasticsearch instance. So I will copy its external IP address, open up another browser tab, paste it, and type in 5601 and connect to my Kibana instance. Now, once I'm on the home page of my Kibana instance, there is a button called upload a file so I'll click on it to upload some data now using this button you can upload files up to 100 MB in size and they can be in the following formats it could be a delimited text file like CSV or TSV a delimited JSON file or a log file with a common format for timestamp for this lecture we will upload delimited text files which could either be CSV or TSV. Now to get some data set for this tutorial, I'll open up another browser tab and I'll go to a website called kaggle.com and on kaggle.com I will go to data sets. So I'll hit enter. Now under this website, you will have to register or sign up to this website to download the data sets. And once you do, from the left navigation menu, if you're on data sets, you can search for the data sets using this search data sets button. Now you can also filter for the data sets that you want. For example because I can only upload up to 100 MB files I'll type in 100 MB here and I'll type in file type CSV and the initial file size could be from 0 MB and I'll click on apply now from the results I'll click on the data set called Netflix shows and here I can see the size of this data set which is around 90 KB if I click on compact I can see some sample data inside the data set and now I'll click on download to download this file now this file downloads as a zip file so I'll show in finder and from my finder window it's in my downloads so I'll double click on it to extract this file and now you can see I've got the file netflix.csv on my machine now I'll go back to Kibana I can either drag and drop this file or I can upload this file so I'll go to my downloads here I'll search for this file so netflix.csv and I'll click open now what Kibana does is it analyzes the first thousand lines of this file and gathers some data about this file for example it has found out that it is a delimited file and the delimiter is comma and it also has a header row now we can click on overwrite setting to overwrite some settings on this file or I can look at analysis explanation to find out how Kibana came to this conclusion so I'll click on that and you can see some explanation of this analysis I'll close this now you can also see some file stats for example there are 13 distinct rating values in 999 documents once I've gone through all this I will click on import to import this data on the next page it asks me to create an index I can either do it using simple method or advanced method for this demo we will just use the simple method under index name I will have to specify the name of the new index that will be created so I'll call it Netflix index now again index is the way how you store data in Elasticsearch the next option is to create an index pattern now compared to an index an index pattern is how you can search and analyze that data in Kibana so index is for storing data in Elasticsearch and index pattern is to analyze that data in Kibana. I want an index pattern to be created because I do want to visualize this data in Kibana. So I will click on import and then you can see it first processes the file then creates the index creates ingest pipeline then uploads the data and then creates an index pattern for this data once all this is done you'll get an import complete message you can either view this data in discover do some index management for example you can specify when this data can be deleted from the index etc etc manage your index pattern and we will talk about file bit later on but for now we do want to discover this index in our discover tab now to get to the discover Cover page another way is by clicking on these three lines from top left and then under analytics and then discover on the discover page on the left hand side the first piece of information is the index you're in so if you had multiple indexes you can click on this drop down and select the index you want to be in then you have the available fields and if you have more than a few fields for example some indexes might have hundred fields or more you can also search for a field name so on this box if I want to let's say search for rating and I'll get 
get all the fields which have the word rating in it. Now I'll remove that. Now on the right hand side, the first piece of information is the number of hits or the number of documents in this index. So we have a thousand documents and then each individual document. So if I expand that, you can see all the fields and their values that are in this document. Now against each field, you'll see four buttons. The first button is filter for values. So if I want to in my index filter for all the documents that have a rating description of 80, I can click on this button and it will show up my filter on the top left here and it will filter the results on my discover tab, all the results that match my filter. So you can see out of 1000, I've got 15 hits where the rating description was 80. Now to remove a filter, I'll just click on this X. Now that was when you want to filter for a particular value. You can also filter out a value. For example, in this, I want all the movies which were not released in 2004. So I'll filter out for the release year 2004. So I'll click on this minus and this will give me all movies where the release year is not 2004. And again, I'll remove this and expand one of the documents. Now next is toggle columns in a table. So on this table, there are no columns as of now. now if you want to introduce columns to make your table look neater for you to search on, for example, if I want the first column to be title, I'll go against title. I'll click on toggle column in table. And now you can see all my documents are sorted by title. Now next, I want my column to be release year. So I will click on toggle column in table next to release year. And next, I want my next column to be user rating score. And I will click on toggle column in table to include user rating score as well. Now to remove any of the toggled columns, I'll simply go to that field and I'll remove that column. Now I can sort by this column as well. For example, if I click on this arrow, it says sort user rating score ascending. So let me minimize this. And if I click on that, it will sort the user rating score in an ascending manner. And if I want to move it to descending, I'll click on this again and it will now sort this by descending. Now next, you can use this search bar to search your data set using Kibana query language. So first, let's see all movies that were released in the year 2000. So from my fields, I will look at which field gives me release year. So the field is actually called release year. So I'll type that release year. And now I can apply some operators. For example, colon means this release year is equal to some value. Less than equal to is basically release year less than or equal to some value. Greater than or equal to is what it suggests. Less than greater than colon and a star to specify if my data set contains a release year in any form. So that will filter out all the documents which have null or empty values for this particular field. So let's say is equal to 2004 and now I'll click on update and this will show me all the titles that were released in 2004. Now to double check that I'll add release year by clicking on this plus sign on my table as well. So plus and now you can see release year. Now let's say I want to add one more criteria criteria to my search. What I can do is I can put a space after my initial search and I can either do an AND or OR. So AND is basically both arguments have to be true. So I'll type in AND and in my result set this time I only want those movies which have a user rating score of 80 and above. So I'll type in user and select the field user rating score and I want the value to be 80 and above. So greater than and equal to sign and this time I'll type in 80 and click on update. Now out of those initial eight hits, we only have these four hits. So this is how you can use Kibana query language to search on your data set. Now, if you want to save this query, for example, if this query is repeated multiple times, you can save this by clicking on this floppy disk icon. So I'll click on that and I will click on save current query. And I will say my demo query as the name of this query. Now, because our data set doesn't have a timestamp field, I'm not gonna specify include time filter, but if there were any filters in my data set if I want to include them I can pick that as yes but I didn't put in any filters so I'll remove that and I'll click on save and my query was saved now next time if I want to reuse my saved query so let's say if I remove all this click on update to get to my original set and click on this drop down next to the floppy icon and click on 
on my query you can see i can quickly rerun the same query against my data set now next let's download some time series data going back to kaggle i'll go to data sets now under data sets i'll click on filters again file size would be 0 to 100 mb and on tags i'll type in time series and then i'll click on apply now out of the results i'll click on the first result omicron daily cases by country and here if i go down i can see this data set is roughly 4 mb and there's a single file covid variants.csv and i can click on compact look at some sample data so let's download this data now once this data file is downloaded i'll again open in finder extract this file now i've got the covid variants file so i'll go back to my discover page go to home page of kibana i can click on upload a file here and i'll show you another method to do the same thing so i'll go here and then under management i'll go to integrations here i can see there are a lot of default integrations built into kibana so first i will type in an integration for csv and i'll click on upload a file to get to my upload a file integration we'll talk about integrations in an upcoming lecture again i'll select the file so covid variants i'll click on open and this will analyze my data now after analyzing the first 1000 lines it's found out that the data is delimited by comma it has a header row and it also has a timestamp and the format for that time field is iso 8601 now i'll click on import and i'll use the simple method again to specify an index and i will give a name to this index of covid underscore index now i can click on import now once you've got the message saying import complete let's view this index in discover now here if i click on this drop down you can see that i can switch between indexes using my index drop down so i'll go back to covid index i can see all the available fields on the left side and what's new this time is this time filter so basically my data contains time field values between may 11 2020 and jan 5 2022 so i can use that to basically narrow down on a specific date so let's say i want to only look for data between 1st of december 2020 and 1st of january 2021 so what i can do is i'll click on this button against start date and here i have to specify a start date so i'll click on absolute for now and i'll click on december and i want this to be 1st of december 2020 and it can start at 00 so i'll click on that next i'll click on end date and here I'll specify 2021. I can leave this as January and I'll click on one, which was a Friday. Now I can specify some other time. Now let's say I want the data only up to 23.30 or 11.30. I'll click on that and I'll click on update. So it'll only show me the subset of data that matches this time filter. So this is the difference between time series data and non-time series data. If you look at your Netflix index again, there was no time filter for you to filter on that data because our data did not had a timestamp. Now going back to the COVID index, you can also specify relative time frames. For example, you can specify data from let's say a month ago. So you specify one and you can specify one of the relative fields. For example, one second, one hour, one minute, etc, etc. So I'll click on that and for end date, I'll go relative again. And I'll say from a month ago to 10 days ago. So from a month ago to 10 days ago and click on update. And this will give me all data from a month ago to 10 days ago. Now, instead of 10 days ago i can also specify now and set the end date and time to now and it'll give me all data for last one month so this is the difference between time series and non-time series data you do not have a time filter value in non-time series data with this we have come to the end of this lecture thank you for watching i will see you in the next one bye if you like this video please subscribe to our youtube channel